Welcome to our channel where we update you on events happening in the world pertaining to the coming of Jesus Christ, our Savior. I'm Evangelist Chris Thomas, and I'm the pastor at Norwood Altar in the United Kingdom. This is the Iran-Israel war alert. It hasn't happened yet, but prophecy has been given many times. In fact, since 2005, prophecies have been given about this war. It has been given so many times and in greater detail of how it will play out and the parties involved. Without messing about, let's listen to what the prophecy says. Praise the Lord, precious people. On April 13, this year, 2011, the Lord God Almighty, the God of Israel, he spoke with me about a very significant event that will take place in Israel. And I see Israeli Air Force, the Israeli aircrafts leaving Israel and going very high up into the sky and striking the Iranian nuclear facility and destroying it completely. And then they came back home safe. Then the voice of the Lord said, Pray for Israel. Precious people, time is over. Prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. Let the nations of the earth repent and turn away from sin. This prophecy was given again in July 2020 to let us know that the time is near. Let's listen. Today is 26th. Leo hii ni tarehe 26. 26th of July. Tarehe 26 July. The year 2020. Mwaka 2020. The Lord has spoken with me this past night. Bwana amenena pamoja nami usiku huu uliopita. And I see a lot of missiles. Na ninaona makombora mengi kabisa. I don't know how many thousands of missiles fired. Sijui ni maelfu ya makombora mangapi ambayo yanalipuliwa. And they are fired towards Israel. Na inalipuliwa kuelekea Israeli. And then I also see aircrafts, a lot of aircrafts. Na pia ninaona ndege nyingi kabisa. Iranian aircrafts. Ndege za Irania. And also Iranian plus Syrian missiles. Thousands and thousands of missiles fired at Israel. Na pia ninaona makombora ya Irania na pia ya washuri ikilipua kukwelekea katika wa Israeli. Again this past night. Tena usiku huu uliopita. The Lord did take me to Israel. Buwana alinipeleka Israeli. And he showed me a lot of missiles. A lot of missiles coming like fire. They are red. They will be red in color. Na alinionesha makombora mengi mengi kabisa ya kija kama moto yatakuwa mekundu katika rangi yake. Fire towards Israel. Ikilipuliwa kuelekea Israeli. It was unbelievable. Ilikuwa ya kutoa minika. And then a lot of aircrafts. Then the voice of the Lord said, look, even a lot of aircrafts. Halafu ndege nyingi kabisa, halafu sauti ya buwana ikaseme ya kwamba tazama. A lot of aircrafts entering there. Ndege nyingi kabisa zina ingia huko. To strike Israel. Ili kulipua Israeli. So we are sitting on the verge of a major war on the earth. Hivyo tumeka katikati ya ukingo vita vikali kabisa duniani. This is going to be a historic war. Hivi vinaenda kuwa vita vya kihistoria. I know that I've been announcing the war, the Iran nuclear war since 2005. Ninajua ya kwamba nimekuwa ni kitangaza vita vya kinuklia vya Iran kuanzia mwaka 2005. When two missiles Wakati makombora mawili are fired and they hit a nuclear facility by the foot of a mountain in a desert. Yanalipuliwa na kugonga kabisa chombo cha nuklia katika mahali pajangwa. And the fire that comes out of there na moto amba unatoka pale is unbelievable. The earth has never seen that type of fire. Ni ya kutoa minika kabisa dunia haijawai kuona aina hiyo ya moto. And so this is a prophecy I'm giving on this 26th day. Hivyo huni unabi amba uninapeana tarehe hiyo 26. 
the month of July. Mwezi wa July. The year 2020. Mwaka wa 2020. The Lord again took me to Israel. Bwana tena alinipeleka Israeli. And he showed me the danger that is coming to Israel. Na alinionyesha hatari ambayo inakuja kwa Israeli. The Lord took me again there this past night. Bwana tena alinipeleka huko usiku huu uliopita. And he showed me how the Iranians are planning. Na kunionyesha jinsi ambavyo Wairenia wanapanga. This time it will be th unbearable thousands and thousands of missiles they want to fire towards Israel. Wakati huu itakuwa they will fire. Wakati huu itakuwa ya kutoaminika kabisa maelfu juu ya maelfu ya makombora ambayo watalipoa kuelekea Israeli. It was unbearable. Ilikuwa ya kutovumilika kabisa. And then a lot of aircrafts the Lord drew my attention to the aircrafts a lot of aircrafts headed there so many Alafu ndege wengi wengi kabisa wakielekea huko Bwana alifanya nilenge kwa hao ndege wengi kabisa ambao walikuwa wanaelekea huko Again let me just put it because I know the Swahili translation has an issue I saw them headed there a lot of aircrafts Niliona ndege nyingi kabisa zikielekea huko The earth right now is sitting on the verge of a major major war. Dunia sasa hivi limeketi katika ukingo wa vita vikali sana sana. Of a very serious war. Ya vita vya kumaanisha kabisa. That might escalate. Ambavyo vinaweza kuongezeka. It will involve Israel. Itahusisha Israeli. And in that war Israel might use nuclear weapons. Na katika vita hivyo wenda Israeli watumie vifaa vya kinuklia. It is going to be a serious war the earth has not seen. Ivinaenda kwa vita vya kumaanisha kabisa ambavyo dunia haijawahi kuona. This past night. Usiku huu uliopita. The Lord again took me to Israel. Bwana tena alinipeleka Israeli. And then I stood there and I saw as the watchmen of Israel I saw from afar the missiles coming and there are thousands plus a lot of aircrafts a lot of aircrafts coming to strike. Halafu kama mlinzi nilisimama pale na nikaona makombora mengi kabisa kabisa pamoja na ndege nyingi kabisa zikija kulipua to attack Israel ili kushambulia Israeli and Israel must win that war na Israeli lazima washinde hivyo vita and in that dream na katika hiyo ndoto i took my position nilichukua sehemu yangu and i declared na nikamrisha before the lord mbele za bwana that israel must win this war ya kwamba lazima israeli washinde hivi vita so there is going to be a battle but israel must win kwa hivyo kunaenda kuwepo na vita lakini israeli lazima washinde because the lord has declared kwa sababu bwana ametangaza thank you asanteni this prophecy was further more given again on the 8th of september 20 2021 to let us know that this prophecy has not died in fact time is fast approaching for that prophecy to be fulfilled let's listen and you can tell now the current developments of the earth if iran is about to make a nuclear bomb probably four to six weeks from now then you can tell that a war is about to break out on the earth the war i've been talking about when there are two missiles that are fired and they demolish the nuclear facilities in iran by the foot of a mountain wakati ambapo kunayo makombora mawili ambayo yatalipuliwa nayo italipua kifaa cha nuclear pale katika Iran I have prophesied this word since the year 2007 Nime... and 5 by the way from Mbeya Tanzania first Nimetabiri hili vita kuanzia mwaka 2005 toka Mbeya Tanzania from Dodoma Tanzania toka Dodoma Tanzania I have given all that prophecy about the Iran nuclear war that is coming and I said Nami nilisema that there are two missiles ya kwamba kunayo magombora mawili that are fired ambayo yanalipuliwa and those missiles as they as they as they are shot two of them na wakati hiyo makombora mawili yanapolipuliwa their tail is like copper hiyo chuo brass copper like hiyo mikia yao ni kama vile chuma copper and so but but they are spinning anti clockwise their tail their tail is spinning slowly anti clockwise like this as they are going to the target lakini mkia wao unarudi nyuma kinyume nyume namna hii kinyume nyume namna hii wakati zinapoelekea katika lengo lake and then 
they go and they target the nuclear facilities in Iran. Halafu zinaenda halafu zinalenga kabisa katika kifaa cha nuclear kule Iran. And they themselves are nuclear warheads. Na hizo zenyewe ni zile vicho za kinuklia za kivita. They are called bunker busters. Na zinaitwa bunker buster. Bunker buster bomb. Bunker buster bombs. The bombs that will not only can demolish up to 1 km under the under the soil. If you have any other buildings and facilities 1 km down they will blow it out. Bomu ambazo zinaweza kuharibu kabisa hadi chini kwenye udongo yapata kilomita moja. If you have hidden some facilities down there they will blow it out. Kama mmeficha vifaa fulani pale chini zitalipua kabisa. And so they strike the facility and the fire that comes out of there the earth has never seen. Hivyo basi zinalipua hicho kifaa halafu moto ambao unalipuka toka pale ni wa kutoaminika kabisa ambao dunia haijawahi kuona the fire that comes from the earth almost touches heaven goes up almost up there ni moto ambao unatoka ni moto ambao unatoka duniani karibu uiguze mbingu huko mbali kabisa it's a huge fire i don't know how far east it goes and how far west ni moto mkubwa kabisa kabisa sijui ni umbali upi ambao unaenda katika upande wa mashariki na pia upande wa magharibi and then inside a small flame small flame small flames inside full small flames that's how i knew that's nuclear weapon halafu mlendani kunayo mioto that's midogo a nuclear explosion na mlendani kunayo mioto midogo midogo mioto midogo dogo midogo mingi kabisa ikienda juu namna hiyo and they will demolish the nuclear facility that Iran is building that is having there total totally as usual i encourage every christian to believe and to prepare for the coming of jesus christ i'm talking about the rapture but then again the choice is yours thanks for watching and please don't forget to click that subscribe button thank you